I'm back. Um, I have been just several times heard from ladies on the coloring book group um, on Facebook that they've got almost finished with the picture and then they smeared the gel pen and they've ruined it. What can they do? All right, easiest thing to do, and I'm going to be in Bright Blessings Coloring Art. This is actually put out by Product Concepts, and you can find this um, many different places. I believe it's even on Amazon. But yeah, they sent me this book to do a review, and I love this book. But I love birds. So um, yeah, I've done a review on this, so you can go find that. But anyway, I went ahead and did all this gel pen stuff just a few minutes ago and then I tried to smear and I'm like coloring along and it won't smear this now that and smeared just a little but you saw how quickly I wrote on it these are the um the gel pens by Sargent and okay they're the the same people that make these okay it's Sargent I love these gel pens. Um, they just dry so quickly. But let's say I smeared my hand in here. I was able to smear there. I have a little smear there. Let's say I'm coloring along and my hand gets in it and then for some reason I'm up here and I have a smear now. Okay, see that? Um, let's say there's a smear down here. What are we gonna do? First of all, let it dry. Just, just walk away, let it dry. If you're coloring or pinning right-handed, work right to left, top to bottom. You're not going to smear very often, okay? If you're left-handed, work right to left. And then that's going to keep your hand out of it. I know you read right to left like everybody else, but color left to right. Yeah, you read right, left to right like everybody else, but color right to left. That's going to keep your hand out of it and give it time to dry. If you've got gel pens that are very, very juicy, then you're going to need to just walk away for a few minutes. But see, like, that's dry. So, um, what would I do? Now, for up here, I'm going to zoom in on this and hope we don't blur it up but I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing alright so there's that little mess first thing I'm gonna do is come in and kinda of figure out where I can draw a leaf I can do a leaf like that just very basic but it's in there now I'm gonna come in with my eraser and erase the color that's inside. And it actually erased part of that gel pen. But anyway, that's all right. Now I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna save this to last so we don't smear, because I know that's part of the problem, is you're smearing, okay? I already know what colors I used, because as I color, I write on the back of the page, in case I need those colors again for some reason. All right, so just coloring this in does not have to be the best coloring job out there by any means. Then you're gonna take a black, very fine tip. This is by Prismacolor. Micron makes some, Sharpie makes some, nobody sponsors me, so I'm not liable to say any one company. But come in and redraw that leaf that you added in there. If you'll keep a light pressure and do the same vein lines, I'm having problems writing on this, with the little lines coming out you can make it look like it belonged there. And I should have erased better and gotten rid of all that blue. But anyway, you see what I'm saying? Now I have another leaf there. That one's taken care of. What about here and here and down here? 
I could draw another leaf. Oh, you can't see because I blew it up. All right, what about over there? Let's come in with a red marker. This is going to be bright, but it's a springy page, so I know I can get away with this. Let's do a little circle. Okay, we're going to zoom back out. Because I want you to be able to see when I move around the page now. And actually, if you say you can't draw a leaf, you can actually trace one of those leaves and then trace it onto the page. And let's see, where else did I smear? I had a smear, I think, yeah, it's right here. So another circle. And the reason you don't do this part until you're finished is because what if you'd smeared somewhere else too? Then you want to fix that. When I add to my page, I try to work in triangles. So I would either add one here or one down here. I'm going to actually add one down here. So another red circle. Can you see where I'm going with this? Anybody catch on yet? All right, I'm going to let that dry. What about the one down here that's long and skinny? Let's do something long. All right, let's go ahead and do a little erasing because I don't want that green showing through what I'm fixing to put on here. Can you tell what I'm doing? All right. And that's another thing. Instead of brushing with your hand, get a big fluffy brush any big fluffy paintbrush or blush brush to use to keep your surface clean is going to be a huge help. Okay, now put wings on this little guy. Okay, and it doesn't look perfect, but you know what? It's going to hide that mess, and that just shows even more how these markers are not a really good writing brush tip. It just took part of the paper off. So um, then I'm going to come in with a gel pen and make a circle where the head would be. Do some little things there. Put a couple of antenna. Go around the wings, and I've got a little dragonfly there now. And again, it's not the best, doesn't have to be. You're just trying to cover up your mistake. And now, or your smear mark, as you do this, now it's up to you. Once you see this, how bad was the smear? Was it worth? doing that or did you like it better before okay um, here I'm gonna add come on work pen I'm gonna add two little antenna and a triangle of three dots and it doesn't want to write on there so I'm gonna grab the black and see if I can keep a light touch three dots Three dots to antenna. I now have little ladybugs on my page. But the smear mark is gone. All right. So um, let me know who's interested in if I did a page of things, ladybugs, dragonflies, leaves, um, just different things that you could add to a variety of pages to cover your smears. Is anybody interested in that if I put that on Etsy? So if you are, let me know and um, and I will will mock that up on a coloring page where you can trace it. See like on this one, if I smeared, I would add a dragonfly or if I smeared up in here, you know, your coloring, um, you got it on you, you placed it over there. I would just copy this flower 
and put another couple flowers up here taller to camouflage that. Okay. Um, yeah, this page, if I had messed up and smeared, then I would come back and add some more berries, some little acorns. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you're interested in that, let me know, and I will sit down and hand draw some things that can be added to pages to help cover up or to help fill up that space on a page that's not as full as you wish it was. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment. If I get no comments, I'm not going to take the time to do it. So you let me know if you're interested in that. It would be like most of my other um, pages over on Etsy. It'd be a dollar and a half, and I would make sure to do a full page of them. And then you could either trace them, or they will be basic enough that you could probably actually go ahead and draw them yourself. All right? So let me know. That's it. Short video. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.